Hey guys. Hi there. It's Perky. And welcome back to Comics of the USA. Yes, I am wearing a wig. No, it is not awkward for me. Yes, it's a little warm though. Um, this is my second personality, Trinket. Or I guess my third. But, I'm not here to talk about my wigs. I'm actually here to address the question that was sent to me on YouTube. And it is a question I'm sure a lot of first-time con-goers have about New York Comic Con or about any con, really. So I'm going to address it piece by piece because it's actually like a two or three part question. So bear with me as I get each part answered and worked out. So the video is from Twilight Haven 13. Now him and his wife really want to go to New York Comic Con. However, they're from Virginia and they want to know if the trek is even worth it. So they sent me a, question, a video on YouTube questioning. NYC st CC staff, NYCC overall, and the talent. Now I'm gonna break it apart and answer it in those three pieces. New York Comic Con is worth it. I will tell you that over and over and over again until I'm green and blue and pink in the face. I think it's a phenomenal experience, especially for a first time. It's huge culture shock blast boom. Like it is a bomb being dropped on your head. There's so much. So it's a great time. To a great place to go especially if you're into the talent that's there like you said Seth Green, Kevin Bacon and Bill Paxton those are great guys and really worth the trip out. Now you can't judge New York Comic Con by their staff. NYC staff is actually really cool. Um, unfortunately I've never had the chance to work with them but I have emailed with them. I've seen their correspondence with other people. I've seen how they take care of people when something goes wrong and they are phenomenal. They're on task, they're on point and I would not judge the con or the New York Comic Con staff by anything that you've read. What you've read, or what anyone has read, is probably about the volunteers. Now volunteers can go two, two ways only. They can either be really, really awesome, and I've worked with volunteers who are epically awesome that I actually have the pleasure and honor of calling them my friends, and I've worked with volunteers that should not work around people. Basically, do not judge New York Comic Con by volunteers. Judge about what you see, the talent, Yes, the talent does do autographs and they do photo ops. However you, are, however, you have to understand, everyone has to understand, <laughs> that they do charge. Some do ask for money when taking photos with them and some don't. So some are really nice and some will need to make a living. Let's put it that way. So it depends on who brings the talent. Because sometimes the talent isn't brought by NYCC, sometimes it's brought by a, con by a contracted outside source, such as Celebrity Authentics. Last year they brought really big names like Rose McGowan, Jason Momoa, um, Stephen Lang, like really big names. So obviously they're going to charge whatever they want to charge because these are huge names and otherwise would not come to New York Comic Con on their own. The person who emailed me, Twilight Haven 13, isn't an autograph collector, but you do have the opportunity to take photos, as I said earlier. Now sometimes the photos are charged. I worked with Kevin Sorbo last year and he charged for both autographs and photos. However, he only did charge a reasonable price for photos. There were some people he actually took like four or five photos with just because they didn't like the way it came out. So once again, it depends on volunteers, it depends on the talent, depends on who's bringing the talent. My idea, my thoughts and opinion is NYC is worth it. No matter if you're just gonna go see the talent for a day, go out there, make the trip. I mean, there's so much more to do in New York than just New York Comic Con, especially during that week. Could you imagine walking around the streets going, holy cow, is that Goku? Come on guys. It's New York. Anything can happen. So please don't judge New York Comic Con by who you talk to. Judge it by what you see and how you experience it. There's vendors, there are panels, there are screenings, there are things that you'll never see in your life again except when you're in New York. At New York Comic Con. In the Javits Center. In October. So make the trip up. From Virginia, from California, from, I don't know, Timbuktu. <laughs> so this is Perky signing out. And this is Trinket signing out. I hope to see you guys there. Bye.